Hey everyone, it's Linnea here for Miss Ink Stamps and today I'm sneaking a peek at the new Bugs and Kisses stamp set from the Halloween release. This stamp set will be released tomorrow, the 21st. So for now, you just get this little peek. So I went ahead and stamped all seven of these adorable little beetles and weevils. I just, I mean, I love insects. For those of you who don't know me, my degree is in forensic biology with a concentration in entomology. So beetles are my thing. I love them. I love bugs. And so when Miss Ink Stamps came out with this stamp set, I was absolutely thrilled. I think that beetles are the prettiest insects. I love how shiny they are. They're just, I think they're gorgeous. So I'm going to color these up and I'm not staying true to the coloring of these beetles. I'm just bringing in colors that I think are pretty. So I'm using some teals and some greens. Um, I brought in some reds and some yellows and even some purple too. So all I'm doing is simple Copic coloring. These little beetles are small, so you can get away with just two markers for each color blend. So that's all I'm doing is just adding a bit of dark marker where I want it to be dark and then blending it out with light. And in some cases, I'm not even blending. Like right here on this little beetle, I'm not even using a lighter color of the purple for the most part. I'm mostly just going in with the darkest color because some of the areas are so small that I didn't think that shading was necessary. So on his little uh, nose here, I'm gonna go ahead and add some shading there, but for the stripes, I just went in straight with my dark purple color. I think it's great that these little guys are so little because you don't have to put a whole lot of effort into the coloring. I'm keeping the same colors throughout all seven of the beetles just to make this background look cohesive. Uh, I thought about going rainbow style, but I decided to just pick out four or five color blends and repeat them throughout all seven of the bugs. I'm so excited about this stamp set. I think it's great for Halloween because they are creepy crawlies, but I think you can use them for anything. Like you could create your own sentiment, like you caught a bug, sorry, you caught a bug. I think that would be cute for a get well card. I think it would be really awesome to stamp and gold heat emboss all of these guys across a black background to really make them shine like they do in real life. So I finished up my coloring and I set that panel aside and now I'm gonna create a background for my bugs. I have the Wonky Checker stencil from Miss Ink Stamps and I'm going to spray this lightly with a bit of pixie spray. I'm giving this about 60 seconds, so about a minute to dry. This should be tacky, but not really sticky. And then I'm going to put this onto a piece of black cardstock. And I'm using my panel there, my stamp panel with the bugs to determine which portion of the stencil I want to have for my background. I'm gonna use a brayer just to make sure that that pixie spray really adheres onto my cardstock. And then I'm going to grab Deco Foil Transfer Gel Blanco. I'm going to be transferring some foil onto this background. And since I'm using a black cardstock, I wanted to be sure that I use the Blanco because this is going to dry an opaque white color. So it's gonna make the foil just shine a bit brighter in my opinion. I'm using a stencil pal to evenly spread this gel across my background. And then I'm just gonna scrape all of the excess gel back into that container and I'll remove the wonky checker stencil. And I'm gonna have a background that is wet and kind of like it feels it feels wet from the back it feels cool so you'll know this is dry when the back no longer feels cool and it kind of it's still shiny and it's just a little bit hard it should not be sticky at all I'm going to take a piece of rain glow foil and I'm going to figure out which direction I want this to go I want to get the most out of that rainbow feel I'll lay my uh stencil piece into this foil. You want the back of the foil to touch your transfer gel when you're foiling. So pretty side up for your foil. Then I'm going to put this into a parchment paper carrier sheet and run this through my laminator. And when I run this through my laminator, the foil is going to adhere to that transfer gel everywhere and give me that amazing wonky checker 
rainbow background. Now I'm not going to throw this away. You'll see me use this in a future project, but check this out. I love this. I wanted to go rainbow with my bugs, and when I decided not to, I decided I was going to go rainbow in my background. I think this is so fun, and it kind of mimics how the beetles have that kind of like hard exoskeleton, and it's super shiny, so I thought that was fun little mimicking there. I have a sentiment that says, we will always be friends. It's super punny. I thought it was really cute, and I cut that out on a white cardstock. And then I'm just going to mat this with a piece of black cardstock. It's not going to be matted all around. It's just kind of like a little drop shadow on the bottom. That's just gonna help it stand out a little bit. I'm gonna mount that with foam. I also have my bugs mounted with foam onto that wonky checker foiled background. And this is gonna complete my card. I hope you've enjoyed this sneak peek of the Bugs and Kisses stamp set that will be available in the Miss Ink Stamps shop tomorrow on the 21st of September. So thank you all so much for watching this video. I'll see you again soon. Bye!